Hi YouTube, welcome back to another one of my videos and this one is about the two tongue rings I previously had for some years. Um, I think I got those tongue piercings in 2010. So I've had those piercings for about eight years now. And they were two tongue piercings going diagonal. No, the hell, that's not right. Going horizontally um, down my tongue so they were like this. And you can still actually see the hole. Uh, uh, hmm. And this one is actually healing up pretty nice. So, see, I can do a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. So, let's get into this video. Um, so, about my two tongue piercings that I had before, how I pierced them. I actually had three tongue piercings. So, all together, I have this, which I include as one. So, I have one, two, three, oh, I'm sorry, four. So, I have one, huh? Huh? huh it's four because I did one one time and then I took it out um so about that one I pierced it I didn't use no ice or anything to numb the pain I didn't have the correct um, needles or anything that you needed to use I just used the sewing needle and the sewing needle that I used wasn't even the size um, as the tongue ring size was so I pierced my tongue one day after school damn random and it went through it was like really close to the tip of the tongue where practically you know certain words that you say your tongue touches your teeth where it would it would click I must have been a bird that knocked down my dog Fubo sorry y'all that's what that was I was looking so I didn't get my hair done. Dang, girl. With the eyebrows, though. No, I'm just playing. So, um, about my tongue piercings. Yeah, so I pierced that one without... Turn that off. I pierced that one without um, any without the proper materials basically and when it went in i was pretty happy i was like oh yeah got my tongue pierced but it hurt i felt it all right here so i'm like dang like what's going on but i left it in because you know every piercing is new to, at its start so i'm like yeah i'm tripping um let me leave it in so i snuck and pierced my tongue so I couldn't do the regular, oh, you have to have soft foods, you know, uh, what is it, ice cream, eat ice, uh, eat applesauce, whatever, right? I didn't do all that. For dinner, my family come from the country. So for dinner was pork chops. So pork chops on a new tongue ring, how was that going to work? I don't know how I did it to this day, but I definitely ate dinner like it was normal. I always spoke normal with any tongue piercing that I had. I wasn't speaking weird or you know trying not to touch it or whatever the case may be but i ended up taking that one out because the pain did hurt like it was it was like it was a three out of ten but like it's annoying you know how you just have like this annoying feeling it was annoying so i took it out nobody really knew about that one because i didn't wear it for long and then i don't know how later but the same bracket um, I went to my friend's house and we were all like, dang, we want to do this, we want to do that. I'm like, let me pierce my tongue. You got something in the freezer that I can use? Like, at that point in time, I didn't care. Uh, I just knew I needed something to numb my tongue so I wouldn't feel it. So, and I already had my piercing with me. So, at that time, I didn't care what it was that I had that would numb it. I had um, two frozen packs of food. So, I put that on my tongue for a good while, a long while. And then I took my tongue piercing, literally, and poked it in my mouth. It took some time. It took a while. But it went through. It didn't hurt. Um, like, afterwards, it didn't hurt. And I kept that one in for a long period of time. 
Yeah, that had to have been 2010. If that wasn't 2000, and t well, I'm going off the grades I was in school. I graduated in 2013, so I started the school year in 2009, 2010. But I'm getting confused if it was my ninth grade year or my tenth grade year. Um, so I'm gonna just give it without those dates or whatever. I'm just say what I did next. So next, I ended up getting a tongue piercing, and it was a while later. A second tongue piercing. It was a while later. And with that one, I can't quite remember if I numbed anything or if I just uh, went straight through with it. But that one was my further back one. So my first tongue person was the one up close right here. And my second one was this one. And if you want to put it like that. Actually, this is my second one. And yeah, my third one because this was my fourth one, right? Okay. So they really didn't hurt. I was a daredevil, like I had a whole rock of piercings, I had snake bites, I had the one on this side, I had the one on this side, I had my nose pierced, and a story about my nose piercing, I pierced my, no my nose also when I was in high school, but I did it too far up, you know when you can flare your nose up like this? Well, right here, you can feel the flare up, so I pierced it too far up, and that was annoying, I literally did it, it was the winter time. And I was at the bus stop. And you know how your ears get cold? Well, my nose got cold, too. And I was like, yo, I'm about to pierce my nose. And I just put it straight through. I didn't feel it. I wasn't in no pain with that. But just when you breathe or you go, or something like that, I felt it. So I took it out. I didn't even make it to get on the bus yet. I was still at the bus stop when I pierced it. And still at the bus stop when I took that piercing out. Um, with my piercings, I didn't have any excessive bleedings. Mind you, I've done all my piercings myself except for this one. And this is the only one that I bled with, but it wasn't excessive. Um, so, yeah, that's that. I did my second... Actually, I had my nose pierced about three times, but the second time really doesn't matter. I had to take that off of work. My first job was KFC, so I couldn't wear it there. Um, then I put it back in. Uh, I did a new one. But I did that one in the same place. So that's probably why. Why? There we go. I don't know if you can see it or not. But it's right there. It's a hole right there. And I got freckles. So you probably could see the freckles. Let me focus myself back in. There we go. And I'm just playing. Anyways, so, yeah, I did that, and I kept in it for a while. My favorite person is this person called a Rook. I don't have none of them in because due to the type of job that I have, I really have to be playing Jane, so I don't have any of them in, and honestly, I don't even know where they are right now, so um, if I ever wanted to put them in, I have to get new rings for it. So this right here is called a Rook piercing. You could see the hole right there and I had this I forgot what this was called but I had that also I have a hole inside of my ear right here this is basically I guess exposing my piercings um, I have the second hole which is bland I used to have one up here but I took that out um, then this one and I had gauges and I took those out because I lost one of the gauges and it was clear and I've been out all day and when I realized I didn't have it I was in the house so there's no point in looking for that um, on this side I did used to have this forgot what you call it I used to have that but um that ripped out when I was asleep <laughs> and then I have this and these cartilage piercings they I haven't put a piercing in them for some years and I've recently put piercings in them and then they're still there. Cartilages never close if you don't know, but a lot of people know. If you don't know, now you know. Okay? And, you know, oh, I have one up here that I really barely use, but I use sometime when I just feel like being extra. Um, Second hole is right here. You probably can't see it. And then, you know, the very first hole. And that's it. Never had no other piercings anyway. I did try to pierce, and you will not see it because that it, the piercing never even went through. I did try to pierce my wrist right here. Um, I thought at the time when I did it was also high school time, high school days, and I was like, yo, no one's ever done this before. I've never seen this before, so why don't I do this? Like, I always wanted and loved to be different, so I'm like, why won't I do this? Do that look better. 
I will. <laughs> Excuse me. I was like, why won't I do this? And so I did it, but I couldn't put the piercing in there. Like, I ain't have the right materials for it, I guess. And I don't want the piercing anymore. I'm not even into all of that extra stuff. I did want my nipples pierced one point in time in my life, but after having children, these things are like the grandma boobs. So, no. <laughs> Unless I get some money and you know, you know, perk these joints up. <laughs> She just wanna rolly, 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 dagger. No, I'm playing. Anyways, so that's my Pearson story. I guess I'll do a tattoo story next if I get at least. Because I'd be doing good on the views. So if I get at least 75 views and 15 likes, I'll definitely do a revealing my tattoo piercings and talk about more tattoos that i want um so yeah that's about it you guys already know the current that i always say the mukbang video with the seafood is definitely coming it is in the process um i have some more things that i'm going to be doing for this channel it's definitely going to take time because life is in the way so thank you for watching my video like comment and subscribe as my intro and my outro probably does say too and I will see you in the next video.